Thanks for joining me for Wilderness with Mommy. Uh, I was at uh, Lake Amador Christmas Day and I saw enough that made me want to bring my boat. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a part two. I got my fly rod, I got my spinning rods. Uh, I think the fish are going to be shallow, so I'm going to be fishing uh, shallow all day. I'm going to be drift fishing. I'm going to be throwing a Rapala today. And we're going to see if we can make a couple adjustments and catch some fish. So I hope it turns out good and uh, thanks for tuning in. Getting getting some tugs on the night crawler line he seems to have gone away there he goes there he goes he's hitting it he's hitting it good just eat it eat it he's hitting it there he goes Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm all caught up in my other line. Uh, ooh, that's a nice rainbow right there. Oh, oh, there he goes. I'm all tangled up. Woo! He swallowed that worm, though. I'm just gonna get tangled and untangle it after I have the fish. Here he is. That's a nice fish right there, boy. Come on. He is ready to be eaten. Woo! There he goes. We're getting fish in this shallow water. Ooh, it's a big brown. Oh, it's a big brown. Yeah! There we go. Woo. That's a nice brown trout right there. Oh, look at that. That is fat brown. He's looking real healthy. And I'm going to eat this meat and see if it, how it tastes. Because I'm curious. But that's a nice brown trout on a night crawler. And uh, he's going to get eaten. Sorry, buddy. So just to throw in really quick how I like to thread my uh, night crawlers when I'm drift fishing. So I got that tiny little split shot and then I take my hook and I put it right into its nose, the nose of the night crawler or whatever that is, its mouth part. <laughs> and then I slide it as far up the hook as I can and then the hook is out so the hook is right there. Then I shove that worm up and circle it and twist it and hook it again. And then I slide the worm up the line a little bit. And then I put the hook into it one more time. And then I slide that worm up the line. So the end result is my worm is very straight and natural looking in the water. That's why that big brown had no problems hitting it. Because uh, it looks really natural when it's when it's floating through the water Except when I'm tr slow trolling it <laughs> then it's spinning <laughs> So and then I'm just putting it out a little bit on the other line. I got the power bait And I'm just going with the wind right now. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's nice And that's what I'm using and so I got the power bait and I got the night crawler Oh, I got a good one. He hit the power bait. Just dripped in a small ball of power bait with a tiny sinker. And whoa, he's a good one. He doesn't want to come in though. Oh, yeah. So I was just drifting. I got a really small split shot and a tiny ball of power bait. And this fish is several pounds. Like I said, nobody say what you will. Power bait works. <laughs> yep, let's get this fish in because it's a time using a really small hook.
So I just caught that nice uh, rainbow on power bait. And I'm just gonna explain really quick what I'm doing. If you look at my uh, drifting for trout clip, I show more in detail what I, how I drift fish. Um, on this pole, I got a s tiny split shot. Um, I have that with a full night crawler. I'm trying to fish water that's five to 10 feet deep. I think the fish are shallow. I caught that last fish pretty shallow. And on this, I have a tiny split shot. And they, each pole's got about a three foot length between the split shot and the bait. And then a tiny ball of power bait on a very small treble hook. Uh, when I caught that, just caught that fish, I was freaking out because I could see the treble hook in this corner of the fish's mouth. Because when you use those small hooks, you know he's getting them. And I, and I, uh, I want to try to get these uh, fish in and get some good eating in tonight. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I, the goal is to drift and have your bait go up and down, but there's no wind right now. So what I'm doing is I just give it a couple strokes with my oars and bring the bring the fish bring the bait back up and then let it drift so like i said in my other thing if you ever rent a boat an aluminum boat make sure they give you oars because you can drift fish like this with oars in those aluminum boats that everybody rents um, and you can also if you got a kayak you can drift fish like this and it works pretty good. You know, you just got the tiny split shot. Now, sometimes if there's a lot of wind and you're drifting fast, you're gonna use a bigger split shot or even a, or even a slip sinker because the, the wind's moving the boat so fast, you're just flying. And when uh, it's like that, power bait works good because it circles and swirls and you can change the shape to change the action. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Power bait on this line, night crawl on this line, not inflated threaded on so it's nice and straight um, and then I got the tiny ball of power bait with the tiny split shot on this one and we'll see what we can do and then I'm just gonna there's dead glass right now so I'm just kind of simulating wind with my oars but if there's wind I just let the wind blow me and that's a lot better so that's that's what I'm doing today for now <laughs> if, it, if I don't start getting more bites I'm switching to a Rapala <laughs> 